Tonight, a warning from former brides after they were left scrambling on their big day. We talked with two today who feel duped by an Oklahoma City makeup artist who canceled at the last minute. News 4's Natalie Kleinstel with their stories. Well, these brides aren't the only one who say they've had issues, and they say they're speaking out because they don't want anyone else to go through a similar wedding day scare. Meanwhile, the makeup artist tells me he's already done everything he can to make the situation right. You don't expect a professional to back out um, the day before the wedding. A last minute change of plans. It was very stressful causing chaos for a handful of brides on their big day. It's left them wanting to warn others about their experiences with makeup by Jacoby. Mimosa Hauser says she booked and paid Jacoby in full in late July for him to do her wedding makeup at 10 in the morning on September 3rd. But the day before my wedding, he texted me saying that he double booked that morning and that he couldn't do my wedding until 1 p.m., which didn't work for me. Can I had to cancel him. According to the contract she signed, a cancellation should happen no later than 48 hours before date to receive a refund. But because Jacoby was the one who changed the plans, Hauser feels like she should get her money back. He responded weeks later that no, he wasn't going to because per the contract, there was a 48 hour cancellation policy which I felt was unfair because it wasn't on my terms that I canceled. She's currently out $280. Madison Sadock had a similar and just as infuriating experience. Her ceremony was scheduled for a Saturday in 2021. At midnight on Thursday, two days before the wedding, he texts me and says he has COVID and that he can't do my makeup anymore. Sadok understood and fortunately had already booked a backup, but she was filled with rage when scrolling on social media the day after her wedding. I saw that Jacoby had posted pictures of him doing the other person's makeup the day of the wedding. Uh, it was all over his Instagram, his Facebook, everywhere. We had paid him, I believe like $376, and he refunded us 226 and refused to refund us anymore because we had used the trial um, and I told him well we never would have done a trial with a makeup artist who wasn't going to do the makeup on the wedding. Today Jacoby told us in part it's absolutely heartbreaking when I have to cancel on a client regardless but it is just that a cancellation. It's not a scam. I would never scam anyone. I'm human. I make mistakes. I am not perfect but unfortunately life does happen. I've done everything in my power to try to make that right for them which includes a full refund. Hauser tells us she's currently disputing the charge with her credit card company, and she still has hope that she'll get her money back. And despite all of these claims, the majority of Jacoby's online reviews are glowing and say he's great to work with.